A Coeur d'Alene gun club is now offering a $5,000 reward as deputies search for the person who fired more than 20 rounds at their building. Grem 2's Kyle Simchuk shows us the damage and the evidence left behind. We started it in 1989 as a place to have a nice family oriented, safe place to go and shoot. Robert Smith is the founder of the Fernand Rodden Gun Club and more recently he's been playing detective trying to figure out who fired more than 20 rounds at their building causing $8,500 worth of damage. This is probably the worst act of vandalism we had in 34 years. There's bullet holes in the door, cabinets and the floor. The rounds came through the wall here, bounced off the floor, destroyed this garbage can, and most all the hits were forcefully absorbed by the stove here. Smith says whoever shot up the place parked on the road above. It's where he found shell casings. The club has cameras everywhere, and he shared video with deputies showing the suspect's car. We have it on camera coming in and going out. We've been piling up the evidence and building the case. The club is now offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. We posted a reward not because of damage. We have insurance like any other business or nonprofit that we are. Okay, but more importantly, someone uh, didn't know nor did they care that someone could have been in here. Okay, they could have caused seriously injury or death. The shooting happened around 4.30 in the morning on March 25th. An instructor was in the building just two hours after it happened. He could have easily been standing right here, brewing a cup of tea, and it would have killed him. Smith does not believe the shooter was a member. Probably a good idea to come forward while you can still make your excuses or whatever, and everyone will take a look at that, maybe get some slack cut. Um, or, again, this is what cops do for a living. You can wait for the knock on the door, at which point all bets are off. Reporting in North Idaho, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.